Thank you much. You know, when it comes to eating healthy, many people turn to different diet trends. There is an overload of choices between, you know, the juice cleanses, uh, the no carb diet, all veggie diets, you name it. Yeah. So how do you know which one's good or bad for you? Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to bust some nutrition myths. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So in an effort to be a healthier society, of course, one local dietitian says clients are coming in confused. They think things that are valuable to our health are harming us, and then some people are going down the wrong path. Scramble, boil, fry, whichever way you crack it, dietitian Brittany Link wants people to stop thinking egg yolk is bad for you. They'll be like, I cannot eat those. I only eat egg whites. The hesitation comes because the yolk is where the calories and cholesterol is. It's been found that dietary cholesterol, so the cholesterol that you get in an egg yolk, doesn't actually affect blood cholesterol. And she says a juice cleanse is a terrible idea. We typically recommend someone has no more than 60 grams of sugar in a day. So just two juices is hitting that cap. These juice cleanses have you drinking five, six juices in a day, so you're going over three times the amount of sugar you want to be consuming. Here's the thing a lot of vegetarians will know. You need nine essential amino acids to create one protein. Now we get those from animal products like fish, eggs, but vegetarians have to eat combined foods to get one protein. They do that with things like rice and beans. But there's a myth here too. The myth here is that you need to combine those foods in the same meal. If you're eating a balanced vegetarian diet throughout the day, um, you'll get enough of those varied amino acids to create enough complete protein. You don't need to food combine at the same meal. Now the saddest myth, the one that I really wanted to believe is that there are foods that take so much effort to digest, they basically equal zero calories. Like iceberg lettuce? No, I've heard that with yeah. celery. With yes. Celery, yeah. Yeah, okay, I have heard one. that, sure. but Link says no, that's definitely <laughs> not true. She says there are some foods that take 10 to 20% of their calories to digest, but nothing takes so much effort to chew that it then negates the calories. Chewing gum, maybe. Oh. I don't know. So she says no. Nothing. 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 You're not zero. doing it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks anyways. <laughs> <laughs> But same thing with uh, shrimp too, shrimp and eggs. You know, I was kind of avoiding the, the yolk and the shrimp myself at, at times. She says that the that is not the, yeah, reasons. it's oh, not yeah. the same bad cholesterol. So go ahead, eat it because that's where your nutrients are coming I from. hard boiled eggs every single day, literally. He does. You do, yeah. yeah. Still yeah. ticking. Good for you. <laughs> for now. Well,